Moving in tandem with government reformist agenda, RBI has announced some relieving measures for industry. In its mid-term monetary policy review, the central bank has reduced CRR by a quarter percent. The new rate stands at 4.5% with respect to the older rate which is 4.75%. RBI sounds convincing for its decision of not decreasing key interest rates. The central bank has said that the wholesale price index and retail price index both are under pressure and the recent hike in diesel price is going to further the pressure. RBI also states that it expected such strong measures from government to lighten its subsidy burden and that is why repo rate was brought down by half a percent in the start of this year. Praising the strong steps the government has taken in the direction of economic reforms, RBI says that the policy shift is visible from subsidy regime towards investment. Now, RBI wants to take control of inflation so that the speed of economic growth could not be hampered. Wholesale price index is at 7.6% and the retail price index is hovering around double digit which is far above than RBI's comfort zone of 5%. sense of confidence by the RBI that the totality of action being taken by the government, possibly more to come, is going to bring back better macro balance into the system. It's all of these things that will ultimately affect the cost of credit. Controlling inflation is very important. And although the inflation rate is lower than it was a year ago, which is welcome, it's actually above the level of comfort. And I think we need to bring it down. And, you know, in the Planning Commission, we don't do short-term forecasting. But over a medium term, we've always said 5 to 6% inflation rate is reasonable. RBI is also worried about international economic scenario where many of the European economies are struggling with their debts. Capital investment from banks in these economies could fuel commodity prices which would have an adverse impact on developing economy like India in the long term. RBI has signaled that it wants banks to push capital in the market. Now it would be interesting to watch if banks follow this immediately or wait for further easing of capital. Business Desk, DD News.